Okay, the second thing we want to do is create some uh, a parallel line and a transversal. So we're going to start by creating, again, a line segment. And then we're just going to create a point. And we're going to select both of those. So we've got our point selected and our line segment selected. That should allow us to construct a parallel line. So now we've got our two parallel lines, one of them being this segment, um, one of them being the, this line down here. And we can construct our transversal. So it can go something like this. And, I'll, um, and then we need to throw in a couple other points. And these points are going to go at these intersections here. And actually, we'll need a point down here. Um, now we've got sets of points we can work with to measure some new angles. So we want to go back to our selection tool, deselect everything. And one by one, we can start clicking three points and measuring angles. So this is going to keep track of everything. Whoops everything in our uh, sketch. We might need to add some labels to some points as well before we do this. So just add letters to each of these points. There's F up there. Um, so now again, we should, now we should be able to select three points and measure the angle they create. Measure the angle. Hmm. Okay, so we should be able to get all of our angle measurements in here. Um, it looks like Geometry Sketchpad's just a little picky about the sequence in which we select points. So here, if I select CBH, um, it's not going to let me measure the angle. But if I unselect those and select HBC in the opposite direction, it lets me measure my angle. So what I've been doing is just measuring angles one by one and dragging the, the names of the angles into their angle positions so we can see where they are. You'll see we can still play with this, and it'll dynamically change all the names, or sorry, all, all the measurements for all the angles we've created. So we're going to do that. We're going to measure all eight of our angles, and then you're going to label everything we learned yesterday. So you're going to use your labeling tool, and somewhere, somewhere in here you're going to label your um, corresponding. R, and you'll give me an example of some corresponding angles. Um, you'll tell me what alternate interior angles are, and you'll give me an example of some alternate interior angles. And then uh, interior angles on the same side of the transversal are. And you'll give me an example of some interior angles on the same side of the transversal. That's it for that section.